Hello, my name is Daniel. In this video you can find an information about the AI in the project. Parent class of all AIs is a base AI blueprint. In this AI you can find any used logic and behavior tree states. This actor is selectable and can handle suspicious events. I told about selectable actors in the components setup overview. Link is in the description. If your AI needs time to recognize an actor as an enemy, you need to use the suspicious event which is being used by default. I will tell you how to turn it off later. The important function for suspicious event is speed on range. Here you can change the speed of the suspicious bar depending on the range between you and AI. Right now, if the range is 300 units, the speed of the bar will be 10. And if the range is 2000 units, the speed will be 6. I explained this in the components overview too. In this blueprint, you also have some statistics values being used. It is a great example of how you can bind statistics to different events. For example, if you hit enemy's head, you write headshot statistics. The simplest gameplay AI out of the base AI class is a dummy. In the details of the blueprint, you can set his health. This blueprint can handle damage, take weapon. You can do the same things you can do with the main AI. This AI was created for teaching player or testing mechanics purposes. You can also change his weapon. This process is the same for any other AI. You just need to find the equipment component in the blueprint or world actor. Find its equipment array, add or select any weapon you want and choose the type of the weapon. AI will take it when the game starts, after a small delay. Inventory component will fill AI's inventory with items. You can take these items after you kill your enemy. First two items of the AI is his ammo by default. If you don't want to show ammo items in the inventory, you can select them as items you need to delete after AI's death. For example, we have two ammo items as first arrow rows in the inventory component. Using first ammo index variable, you can select the amount of first rows that will be deleted after his death. Make sure your items are at the first array rows. Inventory widget, it is the style and the size of AI's inventory. Make sure the amount of his items will not be out of the range of the inventory widget. Advanced AI is the main AI class you can fight with. He will start shooting if he faces you after some delay. If he can't see you, he will just walk around using random or static path. Random path is being handled using patrol points. You can place them wherever you want. He will find a random and not busy point and walk to it. In the behavior tree, you can change the time he stands on his point. Another way is to use static patrol path. Using this blueprint you can set any patrol path you want. Add or change the points of the spline component. In the AI settings, you can change the damage multiplier too. Damage system will use the damage of the weapon from the weapon data table, but the result will be multiplied by the chosen value. Using phrases data table, we can add new phrases. For this, you need to add a new type to the phrases enumeration. 
Now you can choose this type in the data table. Choose sounds that will be associated with this type of phrase. They will be played randomly. In Base AI, you can find an example. Here, I play the phrase on reload. The chance of this phrase event is 0.5 or 50%. You can choose any value from 0 to 1. For example, let's play a phrase on begin play. In this situation, he will say a phrase after some delay on begin play. Play phrase with chance event can be called absolutely anywhere in any blueprint. Hit degrees is a data table when you can set death animations for your AI. In death animations, you need to choose the moment to place a notify. The notify handles the moment where the AI should start simulating physics. You can duplicate the existing data table if you want to have different death animations for different AI. You can set another data table in the death component. After AI detects the player, he will notify everyone in some radius. You can change this radius by changing the size of the notify friend sphere. To disable the suspicious event, you need to remove it from the advanced enemy. Change the mode to attack range and remove suspicious event. Now AI will start shooting right after he detects you. Now AI will start shooting right after he detects you. Detects. Close AI uses close combat behavior to be. He will use the fire animation to attack. The attack moment is being handled by MLE component. I show this component in the components overview. Link is in the description again. Don't forget to put the attack notify in the fire animation to handle the moment when you can hit your enemy.